Enable notifications by ringing the bell. So we, went, so we missed this as the live stream, so instead we're going to react to it uh, for the most part. Uh, we're probably going to skip a few things, like whenever, like, I don't know, Reggie's big silly face comes on and it's hey. just like... Are you saying your body's not ready? No, I'm saying that I'm not Reggie for Reggie. Okay. Okay, so anyway, the Smash Bros. Ultimate Direct happened, and uh, we missed it, unfortunately. I mean... We sort of knew that we were going to react to it. So yeah, we just so like, I've remained as spoiler-free as I can. I haven't gone on Twitter, Facebook, anything. I know. At least one person spoiled something from me I, on Facebook. I know. But I haven't told y'all. Then I haven't watched it. There's no point to doing this anymore. End of video. Nate, you, fuck off! You probably you fuck off. You probably know the same thing I know. I, I know the big things yes is it something that me and you would be like yeah about oh yeah we were you and i are both like real on board yeah okay. uh-huh yeah. yep it, it's just a small thing though that well here go well yeah oh yeah i can hear it now there goes all the down votes what point in watching it if you've already seen it fuckers you haven't, haven't seen already it. seen it fuckers i actually haven't seen it well you know <laughs> i just all the, well you know all the spoilers to it okay. no we know one thing I know five things. Okay, he knows more things than me. I know, I know things. five things out of a 27-minute video. Now, go. He's Ron Swanson. I know more than you. <laughs> I know oh, more shit. than you. Hold on. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Hold on. Hold on. Something, something's wrong with the friggin'... Aaron like, the internet's not about. wanting to connect. It's, like, being really stupid. Well, like, you've also got sound... Not coming through well, the TV. One thing at a time, Ben. Okay. There's all kinds of nets. That's Good why nets. I'm waving my hands around. <laughs> now we just do that. There, there we, go. we go. I think I know. Oh, okay. you have to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's the way you do it. Yes, I like that. I hope this is another another uh, was it another a another uh, campaign. I hope this is another campaign like the Subspace uh -huh. Emissary. Dude, how about that slide though? Yeah. Snacks. Yep. Medusa. Mm hmm. Oh. oh. Come on, internet. Don't worry, don't worry. Hold on, let me let me do something. Stop it, man. Oh, that's good. That's real okay. good. Anyway. I just wonder why they have a little T Rex whenever there's no internet. Oh, don't do, because it's. A Oh, do you know if you click on him, it starts playing like a, a jumper yeah, game? Yeah, I heard he's a game. Yeah, he's uh, a neat little game. Okay. Cool. Back now. Sorry okay. about that. I hope so. We're having all manner of technical difficulties today, folks, and I'm sorry. Yeah. What do you want us to do? It's, yep. it's not perfect system. It's I wish not it perfect were. System. I wish it were. Ooh. The oh. Grim Reaper! Death! Oh, Holy you shit! You know what it has to be, Nate! Yep. Oh god. He took his soul! Ooh! Uh huh! Ooh, yes! I'm loving this. You had to know. Mm -hmm. Get da -da 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 -da. you waiting! Woo! Yeah, baby! Mr. Belmont is in the building! Axe throw. Oh, nice. <gasps> wall meat. They had wall meat. That cross throw. <gasps> Item crash. Hot damn. Oh, Belmont Castle. Oh, yes. Or Dracula's Castle. Straight up Castlevania. That's really cool. 
God, that's good. That's cutscene right there. Uh huh. Oh man. Richter? He said the thing. Yes. Nice. It's fucking Richter. Holy shit. He said the thing, guys. What did he say? Uh, be gone, monster. You don't belong in this world. Alucard? Oh, hell yeah. Alucard's a, uh, a an assist summon? trophy. Ah. Yep. Damn. Oh. Damn. Yeah. So that's that's two of the things that I knew. Um. Hello. Oh. Oh no. Yeah. Luigi's having a bad time. Sorry. We got gnats. Yeah, we do. Mashed Potato Samurai! I'm Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up <laughs> to our recent announcements about Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Okay. Without further ado. The legendary this is the only good thing Konami's done in years. Series, Simon Belmont is finally joining the roster. That is very true. I'm really excited about He's this. He's been given a bit of a makeover. Like, it's real good! Think? His signature item is, of course, his holy whip, the far-flinging vampire killer. Man. It leaves they got you open the, to attack. In they got the slow, animations but I just think its right. average reach during normal attacks is longer than any other fighters. Yeah, this so... This makes me really want a modern side-scrolling Castlevania. Like, right? Oh, oh, he's got the chain, he's got the the, chain wheel. He's got the wibble! Yeah. <laughs> he's he's got the chain tease. I guarantee you there's going to be a bunch... Oh, oh no. nice. Uh-huh. Holy water. Yeah! <laughs> and upper. Man, I'm so oh man! What now? I'm so glad I played While this they game. may seem simple, right? They are very powerful. So Simon yeah, is from the original Castlevania. She would be so man. Whoa! Right now if Grand, you yeah, but Richter. Yeah, I knew that had to be. God, it looks good. I'm really excited. About that. Simon's uh, stage is none other than Dracula's, Dracula's castle. castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Oh. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, yes! an item will appear. Damn! That's, yes! That's, That's nice. nice! Bosses from across the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. The creature. No! Man! Man! From and, and death. Carmilla. Carmilla oh, yeah. man! Werewolf. The fucking werewolf, yeah. Dracula, Dracula himself. And what? when speaking of Castlevania, you can't Whoa! Not to mention the music. For this have to go back Whoa! and analyze that shadow. Four music tracks, including new and classic tunes. Oh. The Castlevania series is very popular among our music team. And they go get to Fuma? Really? So they brought that in from Harmony of Dissonance. Moon, Damn. Simon's immortal rival will appear. I heard the glass break when he did that. Yep. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Belmont clan. <laughs> oh man, the attacks are right! Under what conditions will he appear? Time will tell. Oh, they actually upgraded him because the now, bat for a motion brand new assist trophy. hits now. Yeah! Nice. Alucard, son of Dracula, will land a steal in battle. <laughs> That's your boy! Instagram. Transforms into a bat and dodges attacks by assuming mist form. <gasps> He's very similar nice. to his starring role in Castlevania Symphony of so the Night. So good. Like other I can't trophies, believe He's susceptible this. to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, he'll prove to be quite talented. And we have one more fighter for you. Richter. Yeah. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. Richter is an, He's echo, an echo fighter, fighter yeah. based on Simon. Though his strength is the same, his look, voice, and animations all set him apart. Man. Besides, the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in yeah. his original games. So it's yeah, the uppercut is specifically through. Richter. I hope you'll enjoy them both. Oh, I absolutely will. I will yeah. yeah. Man, I this. I'd like to introduce two more Echo Fighters from completely different series while we're on the topic. Please take a look. All right. Okay. Yeah. Here's three and four. This is the one everybody's been wanting. Oh. No, no. Wait, is it? It's Krom. Oh. 
I it's thought, from okay. from Awakening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Which is the one that everybody was upset that we didn't get in four. He only showed up as part of Robin's final smash. Because they would combo. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. And Lucina's just like, no. Oh, you all right? Dad, no. Wow. All right. Damn. Nice. Nice. Uh-huh. Dark oh, Samus. Black, yeah, Black Suit Samus. Oh, I'm in. <laughs> Not Black Suit Dark Samus. Samus. Dark Samus. Yeah, that's the... That's the... That's the, uh, suit. the uh, Metroid Prime's... Metroid Prime ended up converting into Dark Samus. Yeah. Like, the main villain of the Prime series. Yeah. Oh, but the float animation? Look at that. Perfect. Mother Brain. Yeah, the Mother Brain really. Assist Trophy. My only wow. one that would still prefer, like, Fusion Suit Samus over this stuff. Dude, I want Fusion Samus. Like, I wonder if we'll get um, Fusion Samus as, like, a, Krom and Dark Samus uh, an Echo Fighter. The battle. You may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. Yeah. They're each slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. Oh, As you man. can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen or stack them with the fighters they're based on. Oh. When stacked, you can switch between them with the press of a button. Huh. This time, we plan to reveal the design of every fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, okay. so stay tuned. Mm. Stages. All right. More stages. For stages, we're mainly including returning favorites. Oh, Allow me to puppy. introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before. I saw uh, Hyrule Castle from uh, Pokemon Stadium yeah. from the original. Garden oh Garden. man, that's real good. That's <laughs> real good. Yeah! Star depths. Nice. Yes! Yes! Freaking crazy. Hot damn! That's an oldie but a goodie. I love that stage. Summit. Summit! Yeah! Oh, that's cool. That's a good stage, too. I've missed that one. Fish! Yup. Fish kill! Fish! Oh, yeah! Oh, man. That one's real good. Magicant! Nice! Oh yeah, the uh, uh, WarioWare. Mom, no. Uh, Final Destination looks fucking good. Yeah, look at that. God, that looks fucking good. Yes, New Dunk. That's good. I'm a bad Nintendo fan. I don't get the reference. <laughs> I'm a bad Nintendo fan anyway. Hey! Yay! I would have loved to have seen uh, Pauline as a uh, as an Echo Fighter. But... Uh, you get what you get. Man. Yeah, I'll take it. What is New Donk? Uh... It's one of the levels from Super Mario Odyssey. Oh, uh, like the one level that kind of looks dreams. realistic. Yeah, it's the, it's like the New York City oh, one. Oh God, yeah. Fountain of Dreams, man. It's That's real it. good. For stages, oh, Saffron City! <laughs> Hot damn! Yeah, I Iron Castle. Castle, I knew yeah, I saw that one. These are the ones I remember. Uh-huh. Dreamland! Pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals. Okay! Blah! <laughs> Now the total number of stages is. Voila. Are you yeah. serious? That's a lot. 103 <laughs> stages? Fuck off with this. Final destination in Big Battlefield. We'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage oh. selection. So basically, I should never plan to actually get good at this game. Every stage can also be transformed <laughs> into both Battlefield and it, Omega form. So oh. The total number of stages. So you can convert to Battlefield too now. <laughs> All of these stages can be I haven't played, played enough Smash player throughout the game. So Every yeah. stage can be eight stages. players. Oh, Additionally, damn. you have the option to turn off stage hazards. 
When you're looking for a change of pace and don't want to be interrupted, that's hazard, fucking good. Select this option for a less chaotic experience. Okay, I'm in. I'm in. Yes. I'm in. Also, so you don't have to go Omega in order to get the that. the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. They chronologically oh. ordered them. They <laughs> regarding nice. stages. God. We have a little surprise. <laughs> been a night, need a minute. Take a look. <laughs> no, no. I'm <laughs> losing my shit over here. <laughs> Wait, what? Check that out. While playing, the stage can transform around you. What? But first, you must select <laughs> the stage more. Oh, first. okay. Then that's you interesting. Can pick two stages on the stage I'm excited selection. for this. Okay, and that's real fucking cool. Well, that's nice. Any stages you like, and have fun. Stage warp. That's stupid cool. Wow. Oh, oh, that's dude. so cool. My music. For the player who wants it all, my music. Lets Why would you, select you ever pick anything but that? Each stage. And yeah. this feature is yeah. making that's a return. Really awesome. That's that's real good. Until now, each stage had its own set of music tracks, but this time the tracks are organized by series instead. For example. As long as you're playing on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series, you can pick any of the tracks included from the nice. That's good. Nice. That's real good. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. This is also Bra ultimate. Brace for impact. More. Oh, wow. <laughs> I knew it. I knew they were going to do it. And if we count other types of music, like menus wow. and fanfare, then there's actually about 900 compositions. If you played them all in a row, without looping or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. All right. These I'm in. franchises are a big part of video game Because all of the music, is a massive library the music is fantastic. Music. I'm loving this, this so much. One game. Oh, dude. This New class. is extraordinary. Of course, there's a sound test menu as well. Good. For your browsing pleasure, we've sorted all of the tracks by game series. Oh, oh that's nice. It's like having an album for each series. That's good. If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series... What I want to know is if they the have, like, the original Corneria theme in there. I think they do. Maybe. The original theme blows too. away anything on the N64. Sort them in any order you like. Yeah. Anytime, as much as you want. You can make your own playlists! That's so great! In handheld mode, you can play music while the screen is turned off. It's kind of like using your Nintendo Switch as a music player. <laughs> a huge variety of music has been collected for the game, and you can sample some of these tracks oh. on the official website. Nice. We're planning to add selections basically every week, so please stay tuned. Oh my God. That's real cool. <laughs> All right. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Now the first thing you will select is the rule. If you create your own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. In addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard Smash modes. Okay, There's that's a different cool. feeling of intensity in these battles. Yeah. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can oh. pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let oh. the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. Ooh. Oh, okay. In Sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. This oh creates a nice sense of urgency. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, Snake has to win this one. Like, come on. Chargeable final smashes are now a selectable option. During a match, your final smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. Yeah! We get super gauge? I like that. When you apply this option to a match, things can get really flashy. If you're up for a party, please try it out. We get super gauge! By the way, no two final smashes will happen simultaneously. Oh, okay. 
So your super is uninterruptible. All right. There are other additions to the battle modes too. We've added in Squad Strike. It's a five on five or three on three elimination style battle to decide the winner. Each player will use five consecutive fighters in one battle, but it might be fun for multiple players to take turns as well. Good. Turning. Turning. Okay. Good. We're also including tourney mode. Choose the number of Holy players crap. and CPU participants, and the Dude, game will automatically If this is them embracing the Smash bracket. community, it's happening. Anyway. If this is them embracing the Smash community, holy hell! So it's great. This is gonna be too. crazy. We're adding a special Smash mode Smash called Smash, Smash Down. Down. Da -da -da -da. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in the next battle. Oh. So each player must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. Now that's interesting. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. So like picking Ganondorf so like it can't. <laughs> I'm in. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and more. Yay! You can also well, that's display gonna launch mute. distance. Okay. <laughs> Mewtwo King is going to go crazy over that. At 0 that's nice. Damage. Dude. And the blue line is for 100% damage. The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. That's so good. The single player mode in which players battle against the yes. fighters will return. Classic to the mode return. Of Hot damn. I yes. wanted that. Each fighter has a set series of stages. Oh, now that's interesting. They face. So it's almost like they mixed in uh, challenge mode. Now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and assist trophies. All right. Okay. Okay. Blah. You want a banana? Banana gun! <laughs> Nanners! <laughs> bang bang! Oh, oh the katana! A killing it! Nice! Ooh. Hey! That's from Kirby! Hey! Hey! Let me go! It's the crash item! Oh shit! Damn, that's pretty much okay. like a hammer that you can control. Oh! Nice. Eat it. Oh, reverse the control. <laughs> that's... Oh. That's real cool. <laughs> Yay. Oh! Who's that Pokemon? Oh, no. Is Alolan Executor? <laughs> yeah! Of course. All right. That's fucking cool. <laughs> he just straight splits the stage. That's awesome. Oh. Abra. That's cool. What the? Ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch! I love it. Solgaleo. All right. Wow. Oh. Whoa! Lunala? Alright. I'm expecting... Oh! <laughs> That's also real good. Moonbeam. <gasps> Mimikyu! Skyler will love yes, this. Yes! 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 Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> Let's die. snuggle forever! Oh. And you die. Oh, Pukamuku! Oh! Bye! Bye! Pukamuku! I don't know any of these Pokemon! Yay! Except for that one. I don't know one. You knew it was gonna be. I only know like the first two generations of Pokemon for sure. Yeah, me too. Oh man, Marshadow, really? Ghost Ditto. fighting time. Oh. What? That's awesome. Okay, that's, that's cool. fucking stupid, and I love it. That's so cool. Do it. Back to base. Zero. S or zero, yeah. <laughs> All right. Whee! So ponytail is not zero. Dixie Kong's looking more and more likely on that one. Hey, look. Just remember, he don't chuckle. That's a dumb joke. Yay. Hey, ah! Crystal. <laughs> All right. 
from a game we don't like to talk about. Oh, the Claptrap! That's awesome! That's a good one. Captain. Hey, Captain! I love it. Meet me. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye! That's so good. <laughs> Chef Kawasaki! It's Kirby's old Final Smash. Sacrifice. Okay. That's real good. <gasps> no! <laughs> That's funny. That I like that. Shovel Knight. Nice. Hell yeah. There he is. That's awesome. Way. Yeah. Well, me. Oh hell. The world it ends. <laughs> the world it ends. Shovel Knight looks All fucking good in 3D. Special guest, and another powerful one has just arrived. Oh god. Who? Who? All right. Who we got now? Brace for impact. Oh, the fucking Rathalos? A dragon friend. From the Monster Hunter series, Rathalos swoops in. Damn. Jesus. He appears as a boss. But he can also show up as an assistant. Oh, fuck. What an assistant. Actually, he's the first character to appear as both. Uh, Ridley was a boss, but now appears as playable. So, wait. Before we go, wow, I'd like almost, us to take a quick like look at the main menu. Okay, so here's the main menu. Let's see how... Oh. Now, I remember the design on the... The 3DS was... Oh, that's so much better. And they're obscuring What's... something down there. <coughs> As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here. But we can't talk about that just yet. I bet it's Smash Run. Also, there's a dashboard on the right side oh, of the screen. that's lovely. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into Man. finishing the game, so please be patient until launch day. Thank you so much for watching. The world it ends. Uh, it's not over yet. It's never ogre. This is the last thing I know about. I don't know what this is. You better know what it is. Ben, you called it. Okay! You called it! Guess who's back? Back it. Ha! Ha! Oh, really? I'm gonna get that dad, Kirby. <laughs> oh, Diddy just losing his goddamn sh you oh, god. That man's dead. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. So K rules back. Run for the hills. I'm really hoping that we get alternate costume. Yes, we do! Nice. Pirate. Yar. Captain K rule. Uh I'm hoping we get uh K Rulenstein and Oh, oh reflect. Yes! That's from DK64. Crown Toss, uh -huh. yes. <gasps> Ooh. That's from Donkey Kong 64 too. This is awesome! Man. I'm so happy. That's fucking fantastic. Damn. I'm getting upset because I want my own Switch before this comes out. Give it time. Yep. Simon. Richter. Richter. Krom. Krom. Dark, Dark Samus. Samus. And K. Rool. King K. Rule. That's where we're at so far. I think maybe there's a few more spaces. On oh, there, there. there are. So. It's a big-ass roster. The Can leaks. We the Linkle skin. 
please. So the leaks are looking better and better. So Nate, you remember you and I went uh, went in depth with the the leaks on stream. Yes, yes, uh, we did. Let me see. See if I can find those again. Uh, yeah. Um, <coughs> confession that will make everybody think that I suck, but uh, I've never actually been excited for a Smash Brothers game before. But I am now. No, that's fine. Oh no, that's fine, dude. Honestly. When when they announced, uh, when I saw the original trailer for Melee, um, with the full motion video, the full motion video intro and everything that they mm-hmm. showed, my mind was blown. I was just like, from what we had on 64 to what we're getting now is nuts. Because what we had on 64 was, was really good, but it, it felt empty in some ways because... The roster was so limited. I mean, it was pretty great for the N64. Oh, yeah. The N64 was limited in its own right. But then here comes Melee, and they jack slap us. Good <laughs> good timing on that. Yep. They literally jack slap us with a roster that is that is literally twice as twice as many fighters and just as and like huge amount of levels and more intricate gameplay. And it's it's crazy. It's crazy to think that. That this is what we... Okay. So, here's the leak as we saw it previously. Go ahead. So, we were given a set of code names. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, the set was King... K. Rule. King K. Rule. Ponytail. Old Man. Archer. Warrior. Simon Belmont. I'm almost positive. I'm sure Old Man is probably... uh... We don't know. We don't no, know. No, no, I'm pretty sure old man is probably Crom. No. Really? Crom's not old. But it's her dad. Uh, time that, travel. That oh. would make sense. Um, secretary, which most people were immediately like, Isabel, I'm pretty sure it's Susie from Kirby Planet Robobot because mm-hmm. she's secretary of the Haltman uh, company and she can fight. Uh, Mech. Isabel doesn't seem like a fighter by any means. Maybe. I'd be really hype about that. Um, Rhythm. Folklore. Doll. Please, Gino. Please, Gino. Please, Gino. Prime Ribs. I don't know. Um, But then also, (laughs) Codename Soul. And Codename Fake. I got no idea on any of these. Yeah, well, Codename Fake, I originally thought could have been Dark Samus. <laughs> That's what we got. It's not Dark but these are new fighters. Well, Dark Samus is a new fighter. It's yeah, a mimic, but it's a new fighter. She's new because they were like, yeah. Well, yeah, but that's we're talking, that's an Echo fighter. I don't know if that counts. Because in that Not case, wrong. how do we get... Well, it um, showed her as a sep- It showed Dark Samus as a separate entity on the poster. She's different that you're you can choose the mimic fighter to be separate another thing is like code names don't necessarily have to connect like 100 percent hardcore with <laughs> what the character actually is they just have to be like a vague connection yeah and well ponytail could easily be dark samus because samus has a ponytail under her well helmet. but here's the thing even though dark samus may not actually have anything under her helmet pony you know, well it might just be what they went with ponytail i think is far more likely to be dixie kong which Dixie Kong, be. I like a lot. Dixie because... Kong or possibly uh, Shantae. Which I don't think it's going to be Shantae because we didn't get Shovel Knight. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I don't think I'm going to get my uh, Wolf Link and Midna. Well, Ponytail could also be Midna. I, like, the, I said I wanted Wolf Link and Midna and Ben went, really? And I'm like, That's actually an interesting I haven't heard thought. that one in a while. I, I haven't <laughs> heard that one before. That's good. I that feel like they cool, have like a lot of good combos for that. Um, rhythm, folklore, and prime ribs are the ones that I can't really come up with anything for. Because King, King K. Rule, Ponytail, probably Dixie Kong, Old Man. The only thing I can come up is uh, King of Hyrule. That's what I said. Or Cranky it? Kong. Or Cranky Kong. I'd take Cranky Kong. That'd be sweet. <laughs> um, Archer. I'm I'm pulling for Linkle. 
Because, you know, dual crossbows I have have six. Ankle too. I do. I really want that so bad. Um, Warrior, Simon Belmont. Secretary, almost has to be Susie. Mech, Kirby's robot suit? That'd be sweet. <laughs> Rhythm, I have no idea. Folklore, I have no idea. Prime Ribs, I feel like has to be another hunter from Metroid. Uh, according to a quick Google search, someone speculated that Prime Ribs was um, Nintendo from Mother. Oh. Because that's their favorite food. That's good. Because that's a... Uh, yeah, that's a really different fighter from the Mother series. Um, So they've had Solid Snake in the game. Uh-huh. Have they had Big Boss in the game? No, but because that would that be could an easily echo be old man. That could be old man. Yeah. Um, I was thinking, anyways. Yeah. yeah, it would be an echo fighter technically. So. Yeah. Um, um, let's see. Codename Soul, or even right. Ocelot. Like <laughs> that would be kind of Ocelot badass. would be fucking sweet. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Soul. Snake. It'd be Solaire. I doubt it. We're getting a awesome. Solera amiibo. I'm really and also on the we're Dark getting Souls. and also Dark Souls is Dark Souls is going to be on the so. Switch. I'm wait 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 wait. I this, don't think I would play anybody else if they put Solera in the game. Though. This would be incredibly. <laughs> this would be incredibly dumb, but go with me. If Codename Soul is Solera, then Codename Mech, Michael Wilson. From Metal Wolf Chaos. Uh, I showed you the trailer for Metal Wolf Chaos the oh, other that day. Game. Okay. Michael Wilson, President of the United States. Yeah. I would lose my goddamn mind. I don't think it's likely. I doubt that. That's real obscure. It'd be real nuts. Well, folklore almost has to be obscure. And if I'm remembering right, um, let's see. Hey, Ben. It's got to be easier to think ben, of a prominent mech. In seeing Castlevania games. now on, uh, seeing Castlevania characters now on uh, on an, on S Smash mm -hmm. and on the Switch. Mm -hmm. Konami is pretty much done with the Castlevania series after yep. Lords of Shadow. Yes, sir. God, I wish. If Nintendo God, buys if out Castlevania. Only. If Nintendo buys out the Castlevania property, please bring on, please bring Igarashi back. I don't think they'll hire back Igarashi. They but, almost have to. Well, not really. They, I would. Well, I know you would. Oh, I definitely you hire would. Back, you hire back Igarashi in a well, heartbeat. Well, but we also have the people making Metroid. You know, well, we yeah. have we have a lot of the people who made retro, the side scroll dude, Metroid. Retro wait. Studios Castlevania. <laughs> oh. Because Retro Studios, they've hit home run after home run for uh, for Nintendo. I mean, uh, Donkey Kong Country Returns was retro. Well, yeah, yeah. Metroid Prime that was mm -hmm. retro. So like breathing imagine, new life into old properties. Well, and not only that, I mean, if if it's successful enough, and Konami's just like gives licensing to Nintendo, Team Ninja. I, I hate to bring Other M into this. I really do. Believe me. Team Ninja was on Other M. Can you imagine Team Ninja and Retro Studios combining for a Castlevania game? Probably not going to happen, but if if both studios let work me dream. on it... No, I know. I let, I'll let you dream. But it would basically be what you've already insulted Lords of Shadow for being, which is a God of War-esque Castlevania game. Well... Because of Team Ninja being on the combat team. Well, well, honestly, uh, honestly, the thing about it is that even though parts of the game worked, it's just overall it felt it. Like I it, don't hate Lords of Shadow. I just it, it's not Castlevania. It just didn't fall. It just fell flat in terms of the story department for me. Now, if they were trying to reboot it effectively, then I mean that's that'd what, be okay. That's what they were trying yeah, to do. But I actually give the story in Lords of Shadow like a probably a two out of ten. But like. 
the amount of fun I had playing through that game, oh, I give like a fa- nine out of ten. The game is phenomenal. <laughs> so that's why I, I can't yeah, say like, by any means like, that it's a it's, bad game. It's a well, fine character action game, I mean, but it's not Castlevania. I've played it's, some games with some real dumb stories that were still enjoyable. Yeah, well, like, it's the so. same. Team Ninjas, or, well, think about Team Ninjas, that they're infamous for it because they did the horrible reattempt at, the horrible attempt at rebooting the Devil May Cry series with the DMC, which... There Which turned out to actually liked. not be as bad once you give it a fair chance. No, I did so, give it a fair chance, yeah. but still, turning Dante into... Actually, in, in, it took me three fair chances before I decided it was all right. <laughs> yeah, so for me, turning Dante into the, you know, the... Uh, Horribly you know, the, cringy the, edgelord character. Yeah, it's just like... Just and like, and yeah. the fact that he they just flat out insult old Dante, because yeah. the wig pops no, out, they, he's like they, never in a million They flat years. out insulted everyone who was mad that they changed his... Uh-huh. And they, they insulted their fan base that's by a, doing that. And that's what pissed well, like, off. And, and, the the and now they're going back to DMC5. Like, yeah. See, Which, that's thank the goodness, same shit thank God. That, uh, Banjo, that they did in Nuts and Bolts. <laughs> where it's like, nobody wants a collect-a-thon platformer anymore. And I went, fuck you! Fuck you, they don't. <laughs> he does. Some of the most fun I ever had was playing and collecting all the shit in Banjo-Kazooie 1. Yeah. yeah. The day. Oh, I did um, a 100% run on the channel. Yeah. It's really fun. So oh, and, and she's wanting to do a DK one, too. No. I, I mean... I think Banjo I did that, too, but that was a lot more tedious than Banjo. Yeah, it like, if is. we do Donkey Kong 64, it's going to have to be... It'll sw- be a trade-off. Uh, it's going to have to be swapping out players. Because uh, I won't do it. Um, it just gets old and it takes so, a really long time. The thing I was going to say was uh, Lords of Shadow and Fallout 4 strike me in a very similar vein. They're fine games of the genre, but in the actual, like... Lore. Uh, in the actual franchise, for like for being part of the franchise, they're terrible. Like, Lords of Shadow is a fine character action game, but it's not Castlevania. Fallout 4 is... You know, a nice action RPG, but it does not feel like Fallout to me. Yeah. And it's I mean, opinions. I mean, it's like yeah. everybody's got the opinion on that. It, like, it's not Castlevania in the the sense, but it's it's a really cool thing based off of that universe, in my opinion. Yeah, which well, I yeah, mean, I get that. It's a fine game so long as I pretend it's not Castlevania. I don't even have to do that. I just like I'm like this is not a Castlevania me- like a Castlevania roid. Yeah, game, it's like it's know? not a it's not a Metroid. It's just a different yeah. kind of game set in. Well, yeah, they were trying. Well, to do I mean, like it doesn't even have to be lore. a Metroidvania. They were trying to do third person action because because Castlevania had a spotty history when it came to doing trying to do 3D <laughs> action. Case in point, Castlevania sixty four, <laughs> which which weirdly enough, so I was a young enough kid to still enjoy those games back in the day because yeah. I didn't know any better. Yeah, it, not it to mention like, the violin solo at the intro to. In, oh in yeah, you're not wrong. Version was some of oh, the best yeah. music, like from the oh, whole yeah. series. Besides, um, like the really classic songs, like that was a really cool like iteration of. Um, was it Rondo of Blood? Is that the name mm-hmm. of the song? Yeah, I was just it made the hairs on my arm stand up when I originally heard that. As a oh kid. yeah, and that's what, and, and that's what you expect. Right? I'm so glad that we've gotten uh, a bunch of Castlevania music in from all the way through the series. Also, even though they controlled bad, was her name Carrie? Is that the girl character in the first one? I think so. She was a cool concept because they hadn't really had just a mage, like. No, uh, no, I, I appreciate the, well. the changes to the game. Yeah. Once again, it's not the gameplay; it's not the overall structure of the yeah. game. It's the lore wrapping that I had a problem with. Yeah. <clears throat> overall, I had fun with it too when I played it. I didn't play it to completion. I thought maybe I'll come back to it one day, but I never did. And then I heard the second one was coming out. Okay, I'm like maybe I'll maybe I'll play it a little bit more. But then I never did. I mean, I don't know why. It's just one of those things. Sorry, right, we we have gnats down here, guys. I'm yeah. sorry. But I think uh, yeah, it's we, pretty obvious. Well, yeah, if we, we would stop hiding our dead bodies down here. It'd probably stop. Heather. Okay, we're gonna have to end it now. That's, I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna have to cut that out. That's not what's behind the curtain. So uh, <laughs> thank you all very much for tuning in. And until next time, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Ben. I'm Heather. Nick. Kara. <laughs> And we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out.